Thailand as a growing economy. And then there is uh, like uh, no language barrier here because you can communicate in English. And on top of that, the fees also you pay for master's degree are comparatively less than other countries like USA and Canada. My, my doubt is like if someone is in India right now and yeah. he or she would be targeting especially to Ireland and uh, they would be, you know, expecting a maximum of scholarship, whatever they would can get, they can grab. So what is the procedure? What would you recommend? Because you, you have a hands-on experience on that. So how do you do that? How did you do it? So I just want to clear this doubt that uh, like if I do one year master's, let's say from the from Ireland itself. So will will it make me eligible to like uh, en enroll for a PhD program all over the world or is it specific to Europe or just for Ireland? Or is there any nothing like that? Please uh, tell me like, uh, tell us uh, what are the job opportunities in your field? And if you have any idea, because you might have friends in different domains as well. What are the job opportunities in Ireland and Europe? So, hello Aditya and uh, mate Sanyam sir. So, he is in our team also in your video. And he is currently based in Norway. And we will be discussing certain things uh, with you regarding the master's coursework today. And uh, you will be asking certain questions. But before that, would you briefly introduce yourself to our audience? So, my name is Aditya Singh Tomar and uh, currently I am uh, pursuing my master's in uh, Water Waste and Environmental Engineering from University College Dublin. Uh, it is a uh, uh, big big university. Harish uh, is Harish knows uh, know it better, and uh, I am on on the verge of completing it. I think uh, day after tomorrow I will be giving my uh, presentation oral viva for my uh, thesis. So after that I will be done, and that's all for the introduction. Okay, thank you so much. And I forget to introduce myself. So uh, I am Harish. And I'm also currently uh, in Ireland. Okay, uh, so moving on, uh, Aditya, I would like to like get started with you with certain questions like why Ireland and why Masters. So see, uh, see the thing is, uh, uh, Ireland is uh, is now one of the uh, growing uh, GDPs uh, regarding when we see it regarding. Europe uh, and it is not a conventional study and destination for many many of the uh, students. So uh, uh, recently, I don't think so. It is recently I have I doesn't have enough idea about it. But the graduate roles and the graduate programs run uh, run among the companies and the com uh, is very 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 good. The, the chances are very fair and uh, and in Ireland uh, they they. They pretty uh, pretty much believe in diversities, so uh, so this is a this is really good uh, destination. Um, second is about the fees structures and everything, which which are really very 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 reasonable over here compared to USA and Australia, where the fees is way way higher and it's very very difficult for an average earning family from India to come to these uh, universities without a major scholarship. So Ireland is very 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 uh, good in, in in that terms and the third is very very important is the language barrier when you move anywhere anywhere apart from uk you move somewhere in the uh, in the european region you will you will be facing uh, language barrier uh, barrier at a certain point in your career if not in the okay. starting not in the uh, not in getting into university but when you settle down over there when you apply for residence permit or or for citizenship, you will face certain level of uh, um, language barrier, and maybe maybe in changing the companies, anything yeah, but interacting interacting with the locals or sightseeing anything, but there will be a certain level of uh, language barrier. We have in, in for uh, for Ireland, you doesn't have to uh, learn a, a new language because in India, many of the uni many of the schoolings and and universities and bachelors is all run in English. So it is very, very convenient yes. for you. That's nice. So to sum it up, as you told that there are more job opportunities here, Ireland as a growing economy. And then there is uh, like 
no language barrier here because you can communicate in english and on top of that the fees also you pay for master's degree are comparatively less than other countries like usa and canada so coming to that point i would like to ask you like for for like master's degree how much you would have to pay first thing okay and secondly and if you have a chance to get to some scholarship how do you do that and how much scholarship did you get so so when i when i recent, when i applied in ireland so i chose two university i did not go for many other university just to talk to university which is trinity and ucd so uh, so the course was pretty same in both the universities uh, environmental engineering this, this is a course of one year duration which is another plus points when you when you do master oh, yeah, in yeah. Europe, european one year of masters <laughs> so one year master that's a very good thing over here and so the fee structure is uh, is like uh, for my course uh, i think it was 26400 euros for a year and okay. and when i applied in trinity and in trinity it was like around 24000 i did I, i just forgot the numbers but it was nearly around 24000 so okay. so uh, there are number of scholarships when you look uh, look for in in ireland means uh, in ireland for different different roles different different courses different different university programs there are different roles but different uh, scholarships sorry but uh, but the major major scholarships are uh, are uh, like uh, for ucd there are uh, there are like uh, one is bb degree uh, scholarship uh, which is like uh, if you get it only only one or two person get it not not the other uh, other persons only it is a single scholarship which is given to a person uh, who tops the list of uh, applying to the scholarship named global Ex- uh, global excellence scholarship so from okay. you apply for global excellence scholarship and there okay. are number of students who get and got and get this uh, get this uh, scholarship but the one, one of them will get this bb degree which is 100% scholarship so no fees there is no fees no. to give that is 100% in a global scholarship you have you get 50% so okay. whatever is your um, course total course original course fee you get 50% mm-hmm. of that then you have international means in in uh, in this in belfield campus there are two campus of ucd one is smurfit which is run for the business and mba the second is belfield i don't know about the smurfit but in the belfield campus you have international student uh, scholarship which is which is already means automatically considered if if you are applying to the eligible oh. category of uh, of that course means okay that scholarship there are certain number of courses if you are mm-hmm. applying in one of those courses you will be automatically considered uh, as a part of applying these this scholarship so you doesn't have to apply it separately or fill the form or something like that you are already okay. considered for it and it is all based on merits which how much is your score what is your sop and and mm-hmm. from which reason you are uh, applying it so they consider everything and 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 i think it is maximum is 12 12000 euros and i got 8000 euros for it so okay. that was a thing another is uh, another scholarship is uh, the major one is uh, engineering and architecture this is a school ba- uh, school based so mm-hmm. i applied in engineering and architecture um, Uh, uh, college in uh, school of in uh, of ucd so okay. i applied it so i did not get it because it, and the reason they provided me was you have already got the international student scholarship uh, yeah. when they gave me the <laughs> offer so they uh, they told you it is uh, they told me it is a very good scholarship so you keep this and give the opportunity to the other person to get it so these okay. are the major scholarship there are many other and the uh, one of the most competitive in ireland is is the government scholarship um, okay. which is given by school uh, uh, i forget higher higher uh, university higher school uh, authority so okay. it is run by the is government so in which you get i think you get full fee waiver plus 10000 mm-hmm. euros as your expenses so oh, this that's is nice the, this is the uh, this is the biggest uni- uh, big, biggest uh, scholarship in ireland and mm-hmm. it is only only given to 60 and uh, students so oh. this uh, scho- uh, scholarship you have to fight with all the incoming uh, all the incoming students coming to ireland for that year 
so it is very 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 uh, uh, competitive uh, competitive <laughs> uh, obviously yeah. i did not i have i do applied it but i did not get it okay so these are, so, some, um, these are many scholarships that you get thank you for such elaborate description of the question and like my my doubt is like if someone is in india right now and yeah. he or she would be targeting especially to ireland and uh, they would be you know expecting a maximum of scholarship whatever they would can get they can grab so what is the procedure what would you recommend because you you have a hands on experience on that so how do you do that how did you do it see so first of all i see it is little hard to say but the truth is then you decide to come to come to any any country forget about the scholarship just you think okay. this is a course you want to do it whatever mm-hmm. the reason, everyone has a different reasons their own personal thinking and everything so you do, and i i will suggest do not rely on scholarships because okay. if you get it is good but the chances are very very less if you if you are if your marks doesn't if your marks your application process application sops and everything doesn't stand good your chances are very very less so mm-hmm. and the thing is about the competitive na- nature of your your course like like if you talk about um, data analytics which is mm-hmm. running way 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 higher okay you see any college around the globe and you mm-hmm. see that trend in like 5 years 10 years the numbers have substantially increased yeah. so okay. the same thing is uh, is internationally so if you allow uh, uh, if you are going in a in a the course which is way way competitive the mm-hmm. other question is will you get the course if you are doubting to get the course so the scholarship is the second thing so okay. but if we apply um so, aditya if we apply yeah, i'm medical... just coming on to the point yeah if we apply so the thing is uh, uh when i when i was applying i i had some interaction with my seniors alumni and and the and the persons who worked in the industries education and industry they were saying that the first of all thing is when you file so every scholarship will have a form that uh, when you when you fill the form there are certain number of questions and those questions need to be answered like they will ask about your background about your Um, about your future endeavors uh, what you are thinking your financial status so all the all the things they will be asking and it depends upon the scholarship which changes the question changes with the scholarship and just just to stand just to just to make it's like an exam you know it's like a yeah. so it's like a sop you have to answer all those questions keeping in the mind you doesn't lie anything the second is your your means your application should not read it should be a lot more professional it's not it should not like we that you are like begging for a scholarship mm. you should okay. be like cut to the point question mm-hmm. answer in a limited word present your story in a nice beautiful way your struggles your future capabilities what you are thinking what you want to do everything should be should be sorted like in a in a sense of sops which we get yes, for, right. for applying to the university so it should be in a more a professional way they should know that mm-hmm. the and the person the student is applying he yeah. is a capable person and if we if we provide him the scholarship he will will do a lot of things but okay, uh, aditya my question was particularly about um, in the sense of applying more let's say i apply to multiple universities and multiple university based scholarships right then my chances are of course higher than the person who is applying only to one scholarship right or is it like a central pool for from all of the ireland so it's not about the pool so the scholarship for the central reason is a central pool like what i talked about the biggest and, and the scholarship provided by the government yeah so this is the central so you apply to the, uh, to the uh, to the scholarship they will check means they check the uh, things when everyone submit after the deadline So, yeah, yeah. so that is another thing. Now, now come coming to the rest of the um, scholarship, which are based on universities. Yeah. So what they do is they collect everything, and then what they do is they decide on the basis of your origins. Means yeah. they have to cover the globe when when they have to give the yeah, scholarship yeah. to the to the entire world. They try to cover the persons, uh, in each of the geographical. Um, yeah. area over overall so it is like a it is like a um, central or monitored 
the thing is but if i apply more universities then i have more chance of getting scholarship right for, for everything is a separate thing you are applying in ireland to yeah. ucd is a separate thing yeah yeah really separate thing so it is separate okay. the chances may increase but the thing is uh, the competition is more or less less same because the universities mm. have the uh, same num- as well same number of students so then as as a, as a person yeah it may be same the thing is uh, if you are applying in ucd if you are applying in trinity there may be a clashes with the same persons because yeah, you know, yeah. applies in a single university everyone applies to the multiple mm-hmm. universities and mm-hmm. even to the multiple countries so yeah. apply to everywhere so competition is scholarship is all about luck is less yeah. about competition is all about the luck um, okay, okay so maybe your answers thank yeah. you yeah yeah you uh, described it clearly so what i got from uh, this uh, you know conversation we had recently is that there is there is certain scholarship which is accepted like across the country and anyone could apply and uh, secondly there are certain scholarship which are university specific you need to apply to the particular universities and then uh, if if the if it is approved then you get the scholarship and on on top of that i heard you mentioning about you know document especially sop and all so this particular document is a crucial one i think as per uh, your your sayings that it it needs to be you know represented with facts uh, right facts and uh, to be written in a proper manner so that it would be eye catchy and it should be different than other people that's how you are going to get your scholarship so those are very good points and if we get some links to the a uh, scholarship that you mentioned uh, then we will drop it down in the uh, the comment section below or uh, you know we, we will decide that later on but yeah thank you so much for uh, all the you know all the information useful information that you have yeah. uh, given aditya i have one more question to ask uh, particularly about one year masters so generally i have seen that students who are applying for phd they they prefer two year masters program so i just want to clear this doubt that uh, like if i do one year masters let's say from the from island itself so will will it make me eligible to like and uh, enroll for a phd program all over world or is it specific to europe or just for ireland or is there any nothing like that so the thing is uh, about the about the credentials and the and the credits which are which are which changes to every countries so so about ireland mm-hmm. it is like uh, this one year master is is eligible for phd because uh, at the at the end point means in february and march i do got the offer uh, to pursue my phd from from ucd so okay. i had some other plans so i did not go for the phd so that means okay. my course one year course makes me eligible for phd can i ask how many credits do they offer for one year masters ects so mine is 90 credits okay so 60 is course work and 30 is for the thesis Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great. Uh, thanks, Aditya. I guess I that was all I wanted to ask. And thank, thanks a lot for joining. Over thanks. to Harish, sir. Well, I think uh, we have come to the conclusion of this discussion, and there were really useful informations that Aditya has provided here. And like, like just just to you know to get a more clear idea about the job opportunities. Let's say people uh, target you know masters. uh to go to different countries and then they complete their masters in a year and then then look forward to job you know decent paying jobs in a foreign land so aditya uh, like uh, would you please uh, tell me like uh, tell us uh, what are the job opportunities in your field and if you have any idea because you might have friends in different domains as well what are the job opportunities in ireland and europe in your domain and others if you have any idea please thank you uh, in in the initial of the meeting i mentioned about the graduate program so um, so for for both both the things for for under graduations and the graduate the, and the companies are uh, running certain number of uh, uh, graduate programs where they they and they provide you a initial initial packages uh, starting uh, starting with 30 30k um, i'm talking about in U- euro per annum so they provide you uh, those packages and they try to train you it's like more like a training program they will guide you they will they will tell you all about the things so there are number of uh, number of uh, uh, fairs run by by these uh, these universities all across the uh, all across ireland so there are uh, job fairs there are internship fairs 
and then you have got uh, our site is over there that uh, it's like grand great island where you can register it and you just fill up your uh, preferences and they will they will email you uh, every every day they, they email you every day uh, where there is a vacancies or some company okay. uh, 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 slotted a job uh, job vacancy so these are the things and this you have to apply to every every um, company by your own you have to to you you can just what i did is I went to the these job fairs, one or two job fairs, and I shortlisted my companies. So based on, uh, and then you have to to make your CV oriented based on the uh, job description, and then okay. you have to apply individually to every 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 company which you want to work in. Mm-hmm. So this is a process. So then they give you an interview and all. So that's that's the uh, that's the only path. And which is okay. being in Ireland, so you have to apply okay. individually to the company where you want to work. So this and, is and, the grad program is more like for a entry level program where you can you can even work if you had an experience of like less than three three years. Okay. And then if if you if there is a company which is running for a grad role, will surely have a vacancy for the senior position. Okay. So and did you did you company. did you manage to get a uh, like a like a job here? After your masters, or when, if you have, then please explain. So, uh, so this was the process, and I, yeah, I applied for like around twelve to fifteen companies, and okay. then I got in job, uh, job uh, interviews for like four companies, mm-hmm. and and I got I attended two two companies because in the initial companies I got both the, uh, both the job offers so. I did not attend oh. the rest of the two and two uh, two interviews which were set, scheduled later. So okay. So this was the things. The process is same. You have to apply individually based on mm-hmm. their job description. They will review your CV. The things are very very competitive, but you have to edge out again. Yeah. So I I really thank Harish uh, Aditya for joining and uh, you know. Uh, uh, basically spreading a lot about your master's program your personal experiences and everything related to the job market as well and i think we can conclude right harish yeah 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 okay so thanks thanks again and uh, see you again aditya and maybe we will be coming up with more such videos and more student interactions right yeah sure yeah sure yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. bye bye okay bye bye, bye. bye.